Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a DIY off the shoulder top. So I have two different styles for you guys. Um, this was inspired from a top that I saw Jess Conti. She is a YouTuber. She's so pretty. She hauled a top that is pretty similar. So when I was at Old Navy, I was looking through the clearance section and I found a shirt that was pretty much the same pattern and type of fabric, very flowy. So I wanted to turn it into that similar off the shoulder top and it just looks so pretty. I really like off the shoulder tops for the spring and summer coming up. So for the first one, I'm just going to turn this top into an off the shoulder top. And then for the second one, I just bought some fabric from Joanne's Fabric and I'm going to make it from scratch into an off the shoulder top. So if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you guys are not a subscriber please press the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video all right so this is the original shirt that i got from old navy as you can see it's pretty business casual it's a nice shirt but it has a lot of potential i love the pattern of it and the material makes it perfect for an off the shoulder top so we're gonna go ahead and turn it into this and i love the way that it turned out it just fits so perfect and so flowy and you guys really have to try it out for yourself so first all you really have to do is take some kind of white pencil or something i took my peach eyeliner and just outlined where i want to cut it one important thing to remember is that you by the armpit you really want to allow a lot of fabric um, or else it's gonna be too tight like the way mine's turned out but I still really liked it just leave a little bit of room and then you want to go ahead and cut that line that you traced out next you want to take your elastic I just got this elastic from Joanne and it's pretty skinny so you want to get a skinny one and not too wide you want to measure that around your shoulder where your um, top is going to hang and just make sure it has a little bit of slack and then next with the shirt inside out we're going to go ahead and fold it over and then we're going to pin it because we're going to go ahead and hem it but you want to go ahead and leave a little bit of room in between that so that you can still insert your elastic so I'm going to go ahead here and start hemming around but you also want to leave a little bit of room so that you can insert the elastic as well so you don't want to hem it all the way through so as you can see here I'm done hemming but I did leave a little bit of opening here so we're gonna go ahead and feed our elastic through and in order to do that we're gonna take one end of our elastic and I'm gonna use a bobby pin but you can use a safety pin that works as well I'm gonna insert that into the elastic and that's gonna help us feed the elastic through so just go ahead and insert the bobby pin inside one of those openings and we're gonna feed it all the way through until it comes out of the other opening so now you should have both ends of the elastic and then all you want to do now is overlap them so put one on top of the other and then you just want to go ahead and sew one line straight across to connect them together you can go ahead and sew them back and forth a couple layers just to secure it and now all you have to do is go ahead and close up that rest of the hem so go ahead and sew that up and then you are done with this DIY Moving on to the next DIY, we're going to make our DIY off the shoulder top from scratch. So I went ahead and went to Joann's and I bought some fabric. This is 100% cotton. I would really recommend getting a fabric that's really lightweight and loose. I feel like this fabric was a little bit stiff but it still turned out really cute. That's just what I recommend. So all you need is two pieces of 22 inches by 18 inches. This is going to vary depending on your size. I did go ahead and cut off quite a bit in the end and then you also need two 27 7 inch by 8 inch and this is going to be the ruffle so to start off we're going to take those two bigger pieces and overlap them and then fold those in half and then what you want to do is go ahead and measure 2.5 inches from one of the end that has all four layers that doesn't have the fold and then you're going to measure 7 inches down this is going to be your armpit hole you can measure less than 7 inches I actually ended up cutting um, quite a bit from the top there so it turned out to be more like four to five but you can um, just start off with this measurement so we're going to connect those marks that we just made and cut those off so this is what the two layers should look like next all you want to do is sew the sides together so we can start connecting the shirt together once that's done we're going to go ahead and fold and pin down those parts where our armpits are going to go and we're going to just hem that so that the edges are clean and then once that is done, this is what it should look like. Next, we're going to work on the smaller fabric and we're going to connect those together by sewing 
um, together each of the ends where I'm pointing here so this is what they should look like you can't really see the thread because it's white um, but now we're gonna go ahead and hem one side of it you don't have to hem the bottom because the bottom parts not gonna show so now we're gonna start putting the shirt together so we're gonna start by um, putting that smaller piece inside of it so take one layer of that bigger piece and fold it down and then take that ruffle part and we're gonna line it up with the top of that bigger um, fabric and then we're gonna fold that top fabric on top so this is what the shirt looks like when it's inside out so now all you want to do is um, fold that smaller piece and we're just gonna kind of fold it so it's out of the way and this is where I cut off some of the fabric because um, the there was too much fabric so the arm pit part was too low if that makes sense so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off where I'm pointing here and then this is what it should look like once everything is cut and measured and everything should be lined up and then to start sewing we're gonna take that top piece that top layer and then another layer so this is only two layers this is one of the front layer and then one of the ruffle layer so only two layers there's a total of four and then you want to fold those over and pin them and we're gonna sew this just like we did with the first DIY and we're gonna leave it a little bit of room so that we can stick the elastic into it later so we're gonna fold this all the way around and even on the arm parts so this is what it should look like once it is all pinned we're gonna go ahead and hem around that and then again you want to leave a little bit of room so you can stick the elastic in later so once we're done hemming them we're gonna go ahead and feed through our bobby pin that's connected to one end of our elastic feed that all the way through until it comes out of the other opening so I already went ahead and sewed together those two layers of elastic and now I'm just going to close it up and then we're going to work on the bottom so you can go ahead and cut off any excess fabric that you need to if the shirt is too long um, but I like the corners of my shirts to be a little bit curved up so I'm just going to cut them curved up like that and then we're going to fold it, pin it and then hem it and then we are done with this DIY. guys that is it for my DIY off the shoulder top video I hope you guys enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe and follow in my Instagram thank you guys so much for watching any requests or questions let me know down below and I will see you guys next time bye